Okay, so we've got two minutes on the term deaf call or the first call. And this is simply that, the first contact that a funeral home has about a new person that they're going to be caring for. So sometimes this call may come from the family, a hospice nurse, uh, the nursing home, a hospital, a medical examiner investigator, a coroner, a police officer. Uh, all sorts of different people that this first call may come from. So if we get a call and it's from a family and the person is at home, our first question to them is, is hospice there? Have they been caring for the lo your loved one? If they say no and the person has not been under any hospice care at home, then we inform the person that is calling that they need to call 911 or the police, if the person has been dead for a while and they've just found them, they need to call 911 um, because there are certain steps that have to go through before we can go get the person. They need to determine it is not a suspicious death. So the ambulance may come, the police may come, the medical examiner investigator before the person can be released to us. So when we're taking this call from any of these people, we are gonna gather certain pieces of information. We're gonna find out the person's name, their birth date, where they are at. So whether it's a hospice home, a hospital, um, the person's residence, we're gonna get the address of that location and we're gonna find out if the family is ready for us to come to the place to bring the person into our care. Sometimes we get that call and they're waiting for family to come still and that they're just kind of giving us a heads up. Or maybe the person's on the floor still at the hospital and they still need to be sent to the morgue. So sometimes it's a two-step call to us. We're also going to get information about the deceased, like their weight, and if there is any um, special factors we need to know, like maybe they're in a third floor bedroom in a back corner, and we need to maybe bring some extra assistance with us. So we're going to maybe ask um, that specific time of death or when they were pronounced, what doctor is going to be signing the death certificate who the next of kin is and what their contact information is. If the family's gonna be there when we go, we can also then touch base with the family when we're at the home or at the nursing home or at the hospital, but we wanna gather that information while we're on the phone as well. And we also get a phone number of the location where the person is because sometimes we're maybe en route to the house and we get lost. If it's like a country house and we're on some back roads or maybe we transposed a number wrong on the paper. I've done that before. I've gotten four digits rather than five and I ended up in like the wrong county because we were all sorts of in the wrong place. So it's nice to call back that person who has called you so you can confirm that information if you are getting lost or you know maybe just need more information before you go to the house or to the place that the person is at. So that is a first call and that is what we call um, you know our death call about the person.